Our top story tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning's quest for the cup. Tonight's nail biter, heartbreaking for many right here in the Bay Area. And we have live team coverage from Emily Arena tonight. Now we begin with sports anchor Kyle Berger breaking down what happened tonight, Kyle? Yeah, the Lightning and Maple Leafs, they split the first games up two games in Toronto, games three and four coming here to Amelie Arena. The Bolts looking to take control of this opening round series, but the Maple Leafs came out busy early in the first period. Colin Blackwell gets a slick drop pass. He beats Andre Vasilevsky, 2 0 Maple Leafs early in the first period. Let's go to the second period, not much better. David Camp jumps on another bold turnover. He beats Vassie, and just like that, 3 0 Maple Leafs. Midway through the second, Lightning finally gets on the scoreboard. Ross Colton fires a slap shot to the back of the net. Pretty goal there by Colton. Bolts cut the deficit to 3 to 1. Lightning making things interesting in the third. Andre Palat makes it a 3 to 2 game right there, but the Leafs add two empty net goals. Toronto takes game 3 5 2, your final. The Lightning now trail this series three games to one. Game four back here at Emily on Sunday night. Basically a must win for the Lightning. They don't want to go down 3-1 to one to the Maple Leafs going back to Toronto later for Game 5. For now, we're live outside Amelie Arena. Kyle Berger, ABC Action News. All right, Kyle, thank you. And hundreds of fans packing Thunder Alley, hoping to keep the Bolts motivated in tonight's game against the Maple Leafs. And that's where we find reporter Mason Morrow. Mason, how are the fans feeling after tonight's loss? Well, I can tell you down here in Thunder Alley, there's some music, there's some dancing behind me, but I can tell you that looks are... Really deceiving here tonight. Fans are defeated. They feel exhausted after a roller coaster of a game three here at Amelie Arena. It was a concern before the game, and the Lightning came out sluggish in the first period, getting themselves in a hole. There wasn't much to cheer about until the second period when there was a goal just about past the midway point. And things erupted here at Thunder Alley in the third period when the Lightning got within one goal. And the fans kept on cheering, trying to will the Lightning back to tie the game, but it just didn't happen. They end up falling short, and fans tell me they now look at Game 4 on Sunday as a must-win before the team goes back to Toronto. It's going to have to be Toronto's skating fast, and I know the Lightning can as well. They've done it in the past, and I have faith in them they'll do it again. The fans are keeping the energy behind me, and it seems they've already put this game in the rearview mirror, and that's what all the fans have to do. That's what the team has to do as they come back here at 7 o'clock on Sunday for the puck drop for Game 4. Hopefully they can win that one. Live in Thunder Valley, Mason Morrow, ABC Action News. All right, Mason, thank you. We're staying on top of the Bolts' quest for the Cup. That's right. Make sure to tune in on Sunday for our special coverage, kicking off at 530 right here on your ABC Action News.